Hi, welcome to class for everyone. I'm Roland M. Corpus. The general form of the quadratic equation a x squared plus bx plus c equals 0, where b is equal to 0, can take the form a x squared equals c. And this quadratic equation is called an incomplete because uh, the linear term is missing. Now, we can solve this quadratic equation of the form ax squared equals c by extracting the roots. But then, there are steps to be followed. Number one is to isolate the quadratic term. Next is to divide both sides by the coefficient of the quadratic term. Next, remove all the parentheses. And also, clear the fractions. Then afterwards, find the square root of both sides. And then when we get the roots of the quadratic equation, simplify if necessary. And then afterwards, we're going to check if the root satisfies the equation. And then let's have an example. Suppose we have x squared equals 49. Here, you'll notice that the quadratic term is already isolated. And then, the numerical coefficient of the quadratic term is just 1. So we do not need to divide 1 anymore because it will still be 49. And then, afterwards, there is no parenthesis and there is no fraction. So we're going to find for the square root of both sides. So finding for the square root of x squared and the square root of 49. The square root of x squared is x. And the square root of 49 is positive negative 7. Now, let us check. In doing the checking, check each root. So, x squared equals 49. So, we have here the positive x. That will be 7 squared. And 7 squared is 49. What if x is a negative 7? If it is a negative 7, square it equals 49. Negative 7 times negative 7 is 49. It appears that both the roots satisfies the equation. Therefore, the solution set is positive negative 7.